Hey everybody, I'm Galaxy. Hope you're having a good day. So today I'm going to be sharing and breaking down an Axton build that I put together with a couple of the new effervescent items that came out the other day. Now the main focus of this Axton is going to be the toothpick. Shocking, I know, didn't see that coming. I will show off some other assault rifles towards the end of the video, but for now I'm going to stick with the toothpick. So the toothpick is pretty good on its own, but to start beefing it up a bit, I paired it with the B shield for all the extra amp damage. So after I show you guys the skills I used, you'll also see that this works really well with the Rough Rider. After the shield, next I wanted to get a good nade. I went with a utility grenade over a damaging one. Feel free to use what you'd like, I just think that the magic missile is really helpful with slag, as it keeps you from swapping to and reloading other weapons when your turrets are on cooldown. For the class mod, I went with the impact rifleman. As you see, this provides a huge boost to assault rifle damage and mag size. It also gives you 4 extra skill points to impact, which is another big overall gun damage booster. It gives 4 extra skill points to battlefront, which gives another big gun damage boost while your turrets are deployed, and it provides another 4 points to onslaught, which is a gun damage damage boosting kill skill. And lastly, as a crucial piece to the build is the Relic, which is the new effervescent mouthwash. As you can see, it provides a 45% assault rifle damage buff, which is incredible with paired with any assault rifle, and even more so to the toothpick specifically. So guys, now on to the skills. I am going to start with the survival tree over here on the right because it is going to be the least used. The only skill we're even going to be taking from the survival tree is preparation, which increases your shield capacity and also regens health when shields are full. This is going to be really helpful for when you're using the B and a little less so when you're using the Rough Rider. So if you're planning on using the Rough Rider, feel free to just completely ignore this whole skill tree. I know this skill tree is built a lot around surviving and health, but for this build I went with more of a straight damage so we did neglect it quite a bit. But with all the neglection of the survival tree we're able to double up pretty much in gunpowder and gorilla. Now I'm not going to go through and read you guys every single skill because I'm sure you're all big boys and girls and you can do that yourself if you wish. Though I am going to go through and read the skills that I think are completely crucial to the build, the ones that shouldn't be changed. Just in my opinion, again, feel free to change them if you'd like. But the ones I feel that should always stay the same are going to be Impact, which is boosted by our class mod, which increases just gun damage and melee damage. Like, no stipulations, just straight increased damage. Another one is going to be Overload, which increases your magazine size with assault rifles. Battlefront, another class mod boosted skill. While your saber turret is deployed, you deal increased damage, like 54% increased damage. So even if you don't need to use the turret, just throw it out for the increased damage boost. I went ahead and put 3 points into duty calls. Now I didn't put a full 5 into this because again, we are going to be using the toothpick pretty much all the time. But there are some select assault rifles that can benefit from this skill. Another one that helps a lot, which you might not think so, but would be Ranger, which increases gun damage, accuracy, critical hit, fire rate, mag size, and reload speed. I know max health doesn't help with the damage, but that's just a plus. Um, I know 5% doesn't look like much, but add it all together, it does help. If you're planning on using the Lady Fist combined with this at all, you're definitely going to need Expertise, which increases your weapon swap and aim speed. Over here on the Gorilla Tree, another one that you're going to need to use pretty much always if you're going to be using the B is called Willing, which improves your shield recharge rate and recharge delay. Again, if you're planning on just using the Rough Rider all the time, you don't really need this skill. And the last class mod boosted skill, Onslaught, which is the killing an enemy increases your gun damage for a short time. Really helpful for just trash mobs. It doesn't help as much in bosses unless there's a lot of like fodder guys running around. But for just questing and going through, this skill is really helpful. And if you're going to use the Rough Rider as well, this one is an absolute must, which is Crisis Management. You can increase gun damage and melee damage while your shields are depleted. If you're not going to use the Rough Rider at all, you don't need this skill whatsoever. And then, if you're going to take my advice and use the Magic Missile, you definitely want to get Grenader, which increases your grenade capacity by 5, which again just helps with the slag. Now that we've talked about the skills, I think I may as well show you guys some actual combat of this build on some trash bobs and a boss. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing the B, the Rough Rider, and the Sham on these low level goobs, and then the B and the Rough Rider on Knuckle Dragger. After that, I'm going to show you some gameplay of a couple assault rifles that aren't the toothpick. They're going to be the Explosive Ogre and the Non-Elemental Hammer Buster, so you guys can get an idea of how useful those three skill points of duty calls can really be. Now, with all that being said and shown, I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked the build. Feel free to leave any suggestions to it in the comments below. I'd be happy to discuss it with you guys. Be sure to drop a like for me, because I love attention, and subscribe for more future Borderlands videos, including stuff like gun guides and more builds like this. I'll let you guys get out of here and talk to you in the next one. Peace. Now you be careful, honey.
deployed challenge complete now you be careful honey <laughs> <laughs> 